Naruto, God Level System Author, Blue Water God. Chapter 286 Good Sisters, Stand For Me, The Four Of You. Rixianchen shouted at the four little girls. Red Yui, Rin Nohara, Yuzuki Yuan, and Redbin stood up obediently, and at the same time, the three girls of Red Yui didn't forget to give Redbin a glance. It was this guy's idea. Hurry up and let us go, or, otherwise, it's a fart. Even if the fourth generation of Ryakage stood in front of Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu squeezed him to death with one hand. If you want to live, shut up for Lao Tzu. Ruxianchen gave the two Yuma people a cold look. At this glance, Yuki slumped to the ground, and even Erwai, who was sealed in his body, was awakened. As if feeling the breath of Ruxianchen, Erwai was trembling again. If Erwai hated Yinren village the most, he was most afraid of Ruxianchen. It's really rubbish. Even though he ran away at the beginning. He was actually caught back. He's just like your eye. Ruxianchen curled his lips in disdain. He said these words to Erwai. What do you think? Samu asked, calmer than Yuki. As for the black girl Mabui, she didn't speak. She closed her eyes and didn't know what she was thinking. Yi Kang also did not speak, and 24 looked directly at Ruxianchen with cold eyes. A group of prisoners, they seem to be holding hands. Don't get caught if you have the ability. Hell Brigade. The four girls who were locked up felt a big mountain pressing down on them, crushing them to the ground. Unable to move. Hell Brigade is Admiral Fujitora's gravity fruit move. Although Hayugatatsu didn't eat gravity fruit, he could also use it by manipulating gravity. Ruxianchen looked at the four girls lying on the ground lightly, arrogant in front of him. They must be educated. Well, will we be the same as them? Yuzuki Xian asked Nohara Rin while she pulled her. I, I don't know either. Sister Lin shook her head. You four, how do I usually teach you? Ruxianchen angrily looked at the four unsatisfactory disciples. I usually teach you how to be more skillful. But what about you now? Just bring back four, the more the better, the better you can understand. Rixianchen educated them. Eh? The four female apprentices looked at Rixianchen speechlessly, a smug look on Hongdu's face. She knew she did the right thing. The girls in the room also heard Rixianchen's words, their cheeks flushed with anger, and they wanted to go out and bite Rixianchen to death. This guy, Kashina gritted her teeth, and the teacup in his hand was crushed by him. Brother is really scum. Xianan exuded endless chills. Mikoto smiled helplessly and said, don't be angry, it's useless to be angry, and we can't stop him from doing anything, as long as we don't forget us. If he dares to forget me, then I will throw him into the lava to take a bath. What a quarrel. If you dare to quarrel again, I will throw you all on the guang, and teach it all again. Ruxianchen stuck his head into the room. All of the girls were silent for a while, and they all sat quietly and well behaved on the sofa. Ruxianchen nodded with satisfaction, and then continued to reprimand a few apprentices. Hong Yui and the others felt very sad. How could they have such a teacher? and Hongdu, who was a hero, was naturally not among the reprimands. That is to say, those who were reprimanded were Kei Nui, Rin Nohara and Yuzuki Yuzuki. Teacher, in fact, I shot them down. Moyuxian said with her hand raised. Huh? Ruxianchen was surprised, and then said, then stand aside and watch. Teacher, I reported her for lying. It's obviously all my fault. Hongdu said loudly. Moyuxian looked at Redbin angrily, but she actually dismantled her. She is still not a good sister. I also reported it. It was the credit of Anko alone. Yuko and Nohara Rin looked at each other and said at the same time. The two of them definitely couldn't let Moyuxian escape so easily. Shouldn't good sisters be blessed with me? Should they be in trouble? Under Rixianchen's gaze, Yuayukixian walked back silently, standing with Yuri Hong and Nohara Rin, and she had already scolded these good sisters 800 times in her heart. Hongda looked proud and wanted to take my credit. But there was no door. Go in first. Ruxianchen waved his hand. Huh? Hong, Lin, and Xian were stunned for a moment, then quickly ran into the house. Why are you still standing here? Ruxianchen looked at his red bean, who was still standing here. Well, where's my reward? Hong stretched out his hand to Ruxianchen. Reward? You still want reward? What reward do you want? Isn't this your thanks for my teaching? Ruxianchen waved his hand and sent the red bins away. So angry, Hongda stomped his feet and entered the room angrily. HMPH Ruxianchen looked at the four girls lying on the ground with an evil smile on his face. You dot 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 what do you want? Mabui asked tremblingly. Do you know who I am? Ruxianchen walked over and looked down at the four daughters condescendingly. Feeling the pressure disappear, the four girls breathed a sigh of relief and finally got up from the ground, looking a little embarrassed because of the dust on their bodies. You are famous. Yi Kang shook the dust off his body and glanced at Rixianchen. Ha ha an ignorant woman. Rixianchen looked at Yi Kang with contempt. Even he didn't know it, she was really a ninja. The three generation fennying of the vegetable bag in your San Ninja village, he knelt on the ground and cut out ten times before I let him go. If it wasn't for my kindness, your San Ninja village would have changed Feng Ying long ago. Rixianchen started talking nonsense. With a cold face, Yi Kang looked at Rixianchen angrily. What are you looking at? Kneel down for me. With a plop, Yi Kang couldn't control his body and really knelt down. You have the ability to kill me. Why insult people like this? 
What a hero, Yi Kang shouted angrily. I'm not a hero, I heard that heroes usually die very early. Rick Xianchen smiled lightly. Yi Kang is also a hero of San Ninja Village. What is the final outcome? He was not betrayed by San Ninja Village and became a victim of great power politics. Rick Xianchen never thought about being a hero or a hero, he was just a free wanderer doing what he wanted to do. The four of you fall into my hands. For the sake of you being beautiful women, I won't kill you. Be me a maid. I'll find you a head maid another day. You are dreaming. Sam Yi said coldly. Dream? You should be glad. If it wasn't for your beautiful looks, I had already killed you for fertilizer, you should be glad you have a beautiful face at this moment, otherwise I wouldn't even look at you. Rick Xianchen said lightly. Now I'm giving you a chance to live. If you don't want to die, be a maid for me. If you want to die, Quickly wipe your neck and commit suicide. Rick Xianchen took out a handful of kanai and threw it into the rock cage. Then Rick Xianchen didn't look at them, turned around and walked into the house, leaving them to choose between life and death. Chapter 287 You are making fun of the group. Humphrey. Big pervert. A big hearted pervert. A pervert can't describe you. Dot. As soon as Rick Xianchen entered the house, he was unanimously attacked by all the women, especially the contempt in his eyes, which was not concealed at all. You said that to me. Don't I want to lose face? Rick Xianchen looked at the girls dissatisfied. You have no face, what face do you need? Duke Sunai pouted and said jealously. Yeah, I've already lost face, what else do I need to do with face? Hai Xianchen nodded, and then he was in the middle of Kashina and Mikoto. Don't sit with me, big pervert. Duke Sunai pushed Rick Xianchen in disgust. Okay, then I'll change my position. Rick Xianchen stood up directly. Teacher, teacher, be on our side. Hongda stood up and said to Rick Xianchen, wanting to come over and pull Rick Xianchen. At this time, Duke Sunai held Rick Xianchen and asked him to sit down, he said in a flat tone, what is the position, it's too much trouble, at most, Mikoto and I will be wronged, you sit here, tsk tsk, women are duplicities, Rick Xianchen had a smile on his face, could it be that this is what the legend says about being honest, you are not afraid of the suicide of a few beauties outside, I think they are all beauties, and they are not worse than us at all, Tsunade said jokingly, it's okay, if you die, you will die, Rick Xianchen's expression was very indifferent, they really wanted to die, but Rick Xianchen couldn't help it. Although Rick Xianchen knows the art of reincarnation and reincarnation, as long as they choose to commit suicide, Rick Xianchen will never choose to resurrect them. Because you can never save someone who wants to die, not to mention that Rick Xianchen has no feelings for them. At most, he looks at them beautiful, so how could he put so much effort into it? Then why don't I kill them? Teruyumim smiled tenderly. On the surface, Teruyumim seemed to be joking, but the cold light in her eyes could prove that she was not joking. Rick Xianchen stared at Teruyumim tightly. Why are you staring at people like this, knowing that you don't want those four little beauties? HMPH. Men just love the new and hate the old, and there is no good thing. Teruyumim glanced at Rick Xianchen angrily. No, I actually meant to say that your teeth are stained with vegetable leaves. Rick Xianchen pointed to his teeth. Really? Teruyumim quickly took out a small mirror. Don't be so troublesome, I'll help you. Rick Xianchen got up and walked to Teruyumim and then went up to Trumim deeply. A few minutes later, Hai Xianchen separated from Trumim, and said with a smile, Okay, ah. You are clearly trying to take advantage of me. I didn't eat any vegetables this morning, so where did the leaves come from? Trumim said in a loud voice. We're both old and married, do I still need to take advantage? I still don't admit it, I'm really mad at me. Trumim held Hungarian in both hands, and the fullness of Hungarian was about to come out. Sarah glanced at Trumim jealously. Why she was not as big as Trumim, because of the jealousy in her heart that drove her mad. Sarah sneered, that's because you are stupid, Hungarian has no brains. Tsunade next to him lay his gun innocently, and glared at Sarah resentfully. Rick Xianchen glanced at Sarah in surprise. Is she mocking? Among the women here, except for those who are not yet fully developed, it seems that Sarah is the smallest. Dot. In the yard, Yi Kang, Samuel, Azabui, and Yuki was silent. This rock was so strong that their chakras were sealed and they couldn't escape. Even if they are not sealed and break this cage, they will not be able to escape. Before the wooden man used the power of Awai, he was not the opponent of the girl named Redbin. Can he escape? Samuel, Azabui, and Yuki belong to the same village. The three of them sat on the other side, and Yi Kang sat on the side alone. Yuma, what should we do? Mabui looked at Yuma and asked, with confusion in his voice. They have been taken away for three months and no one has come to save them. Could it be that the village has given up on them? In fact, this is indeed the case. After Yenren village knew that they were captured by Rick Xianchen's apprentice, they gave up on them, including the two people, Jin Chiriki Yuma. The village should send someone to save us. Yuma said uncertainly. Ordinarily, given her status as a pillar of strength, someone should have come to save her long ago because of her importance to the village. Up to now, no one has come to rescue her and Yuki himself is also very confused. It'll be fine. Samuel said comforting words that he didn't believe. Yi Kang, who was on the side, glanced at them, 
then lowered his head and said nothing. They have only been arrested for three months. Yi Kang has been arrested for ten months, and now Yi Kang is the most desperate. Looking at Kan Ai who was flickering with cold light next to him, Yi Kang hesitated slightly, but still did not move. No one wanted to choose death, and Yi Kang was no exception. Why would he choose to die when he could live? And he was only a maid, not a slave. How to choose? Yi Kang said to himself, If I choose to be a maid, Will that guy do strange things to me? What if he really forces me to do it? That guy seems very handsome and has an inexplicable attraction. Yi Kang began to think wildly. In fact, at this time, Yi Kang had already made up his mind. Shi Yi Kang committed suicide by wiping her neck, and hitting her head to death here would never be the case. But the maid costume seemed to be very beautiful. Yi Kang felt that he could experience it. What do you choose? Yu Mu asked curiously to Yi Kang. These days, although they didn't talk much, they were still familiar with each other. Sometimes compromise is the way to go. Yi Kang said lightly, the meaning of which is self-evident. Humphrey, Sam Yu gave Yi Kang a disdainful look. Yi Kang was furious, walked over to pick up Kan Ai, and threw it beside Sam Yu. Ha, huh, what, if you have the ability, you choose to commit suicide. Yi Kang said lightly, you, commit suicide if you commit suicide, I'm not someone who is afraid of death. Sam Yu picked up Kan Ai and gave Yi Kang a contemptuous look. Yi Kang smiled coldly, held hung in his arms and looked at Samuel playfully. Wait for Samuel, don't be impulsive. Mabuya grabbed her hand and took the kanai from her. Samuel, it's not like you are calm. Yukito also came over and looked at Yi Kang with hostile eyes. Samuel put down the kanai in her hand. She is indeed not an impulsive person, but after three months of detention, Samuel can no longer keep her calm. Sitting on the ground, Samuel looked at the kanai in her hand. She still couldn't do it. She thought she had the courage to face death. But when it came time, the courage fed the dog. Or we. Mabuya didn't say anything after that. Forbearance first, what about being a maid? I believe that the fourth generation of Ryakage knows and will definitely save us. And now maybe someone has been sent to save us. Yuki said. In the end, Samuel glanced at the two girls and nodded. Chapter 288 Get four little maids. In the afternoon, Yi Kang and the others, who were locked in the cage, were grumbling with hunger and trembling in their hearts. Even if they are prisoners, let them eat. This is too much to not treat them as human beings. Prisoners are human too. Although you won't die from starvation if you don't eat a meal, it's painful to be hungry. With a crunch, the door was opened, and Rick Siangchen stepped out, holding a few roast chickens in his hand. I'm hungry. I forgot about you during lunch. I'm so sorry. Rick Siangchen had a smile on his face, without a trace of apology. It was definitely intentional. Samuel clenched his fist, then released it. This dark skin beauty. Can you tell me your choice? Rick Siangchen stretched out his hand and asked Mabuya's chin. Mabuya's face flushed. If it wasn't for Rick Siangchen's good eyes, it would be hard to tell that Mabuya was blushing. Mabuya took a few steps back, avoiding Rick Siangchen's hand, and asked, What do you want to do? To be honest, your skin is really too extremes compared to Kikuya Otsutsuki. Rick Siangchen said with a chuckle. To be honest, as Abuya is a rare beauty with dark skin. Rick Siangchen has also seen many women with dark skin in the country of Thunder 840 but none of them are beautiful. Therefore, Mabuya is simply a cherished species like a giant panda. No, it is even more precious than a giant panda. We can be your maid, but you can't, absolutely can't, absolutely nothing. Rick Siangchen teased. You must not bully us, or I will die, and I will never agree to you. Samuel looked up and stared at Rick Siangchen. Really? Rick Siangchen put down the food in his hand and walked into the rock cage, as if nothing hindered him. When he came to Samuel, Hike Siangchen looked down at her and he could clearly see the tension in Samuel's stubborn eyes. You seem to be very nervous. Rick Siangchen slowly approached Samuel, and Samuel kept retreating until there was no way to retreat. What do you want to do to Samuel? Yumo and Mabuya ran nervously towards Rick Siangchen, but the rock railing that suddenly rose blocked their footsteps. What do you want? Samuel grabbed the railing tightly with both hands, and the arrogance on his face disappeared. Rick Siangchen pinched Samuel's chin, with a sinister smile on his face, and immediately lowered his head and approached Samuel. Looking at Rick Siangchen who was approaching, Samuel closed his eyes nervously. His body trembled slightly, and when the two were about to touch, Rick Siangchen raised his head. After a long time, Samuel, who didn't feel Rick Siangchen coming down, opened his eyes, and what caught his eyes was Rick Siangchen's playful smile. Seeing this, Samuel breathed a sigh of relief, but inexplicably felt a sense of loss in his heart, but this feeling was quickly classified as an illusion by Samuel. Since you have made your choice, change your clothes. Rick Siangchen waved out four maid outfits and threw them to them. The four girls looked at Rick Siangchen and the clothes in their hands. They were a little overwhelmed and asked them to change their clothes, but don't watch here. Rick Siangchen smiled, then turned and left. Seeing Rick Siangchen leave, the four girls breathed a sigh of relief, observed vigilantly, and found that Rick Siangchen hadn't peeked, so they put on the maid outfit that Rick Siangchen gave them. The maid outfit was just an ordinary maid outfit. At best it was a bit more gorgeous, not the kind of maid outfit the four girls thought, which also made the four girls relieved. 
If it was the kind of maid outfit they thought, they definitely wouldn't have the courage to wear it. After changing clothes, the four women looked at the food next to them, and the strong aroma made them drool. Eat. This is for you. Rixianchen's voice suddenly came from behind them. The four girls were startled and looked at Rixianchen vigilantly. Didn't he enter the house? Why are you behind them? Is it for peeking? Thinking of being peeked at changing clothes, the four maids blushed and stared at Rixianchen in embarrassment. Don't worry, I didn't peek at you. Rixianchen was slightly speechless, he really didn't peek at them. But obviously, they didn't believe it at all. I don't believe it, I didn't expect to change into maid costumes. You are quite beautiful. Rixianchen turned around and carefully looked at the four pretty little maids. Hearing Rixianchen's compliments, the four girls felt a little proud. After all, they are women and even female ninjas like to hear others compliment them on being beautiful. The four of you discuss who will serve the bed tonight. Rixianchen's next sentence drove them into the abyss. What? What? Serving the bed? The four girls were immediately flustered. Just kidding with you, now you are not qualified to sleep with me. Rixianchen walked into the room. Not qualified? The four daughters accumulated anger in their hearts. Why are they not qualified? The four of you haven't come in yet and perform your duties as maids. Rixianchen turned his head and looked at the four girls who were motionless, frowning slightly. A little dissatisfied. By the way, that kitten doesn't need to follow. Rixianchen came to Yukito and pulled out the second tail from her body. If you look cute, you might be able to keep you, but you're not cute. Rixianchen kicked the huge second tail with one kick. As for where the two-tailed cat will fly, Rixianchen doesn't know. The tailed beast was taken away. Am I going to die? Yukito was a little unwilling. She was already a maid, so why did she still have to die? Wake up. You're not dead yet. Rixianchen patted the dumbfounded Yuki. The wooden man came back to his senses and found that he was indeed not dead. What happened? If Renjin Churiki is taken away, the tailed beast will die. This is recognized by the entire ninja world. Why is she okay? Of course I saved your life. I just became my little maid. I don't want you to die. Rixianchen said lightly. There is so much noise outside. What are you doing, brother? Xiaonan walked out of the door. The movement of Rixianchen's extraction of Erwai is not small. After all, although Erwai is not strong, but he is very big, and the movement is naturally not small. It's nothing, I just sent the kitten away. Rixianchen stroked Xiaonan's hair, then walked into the house. The four maids looked at each other and walked in, feeling uneasy. TSK TSK, it's so beautiful. What kind of reward do you want, Red Bin? Tell your mother directly, your teacher won't give you the reward. I'll give it to you. Jixin I looked at Redbin with a weird smile on her face. Really? Hongdu looked surprised. Hong Yui rubbed her forehead speechlessly. How could Hongdu be so stupid? That's fine. I don't need it. It's all for the teacher. At the critical moment, Hongdu also reacted. The main reason is that Kashina's gloomy face is a bit scary, and it matches that of the angry Kikuya Otsutsuki. Chapter 289 Nawaki Invitation Teacher, I don't think my strength is enough, so let's go to practice. Hongdu hurried out. Although her head is not flexible, but with so many murderous eyes staring at her, Hongdu is somewhat uncomfortable. She instinctively tells her that it is better to slip away first. Stop blaming Hongdu. People are also filial. They know how to be grateful, unlike them. Rixianchen pointed at Hong, Lin, and Xian. I don't know how to think about my teacher. I taught them in vain. Hong, Lin, and Xian were depressed. Fuck you. Kashina slapped him angrily. It hurts. You are trying to murder your husband, a poisonous woman. Rixianchen lay on the ground, staring at Duke's and I with two big eyes looking like he was dead. Kashina pouted, I didn't exert any strength, are you lying on the ground wanting to touch porcelain? After lying on the ground for a long time, he found that no one paid attention to him. Instead, they started chatting, and now Rixianchen couldn't bear it anymore. He got up from the ground, looked at the girls with grief and indignation and said, don't you care about me at all, don't know how to help me up, aren't you getting up? Are you still using the support? Tsunaid said indifferently. I, I, Rixianchen was speechless. At this time, he saw a few maids who were giggling and his face fell down. You maids are unqualified. Seeing me fall to the ground, you still don't help me up. Rixianchen scolded the four of them, spittle flying. Yumo and the four of them have that anger in their hearts. Why are you spitting? This is definitely intentional. Even if it's a maid, you can't bully us like that. Mabuya said with anger. When did I bully you? I'm just preaching to you. Can't you be preached? Are you a maid or an uncle? Puff puff. Rixianchen spat out. The four women were trembling with anger and the saliva sprayed on their faces could wash their faces, so they could only scold Rixianchen for being disgusting in their hearts. Why are you bullying others? Mikoto couldn't stand it anymore. She walked over and pulled Rixianchen away. Then can I bully you? Rixianchen stretched out his arms to wrap his arms around Mikoto's waist and stared at Mikoto with affection. I, Mikoto's eyes appeared moist, and under Rixianchen's affectionate gaze, she seemed to melt. No, Kashina pulled Mikoto out of Hixianchen's arms. I will never let you bully Mikoto. If you want to bully, 
Bully me. Kashina raised her head and stared at Rick Xiangjin. Kashina. Mikoto's resentful eyes made Kashina's body tremble slightly. Mikoto, don't worry, as your good sister, I will bear your suffering for you. You don't have to be grateful to me. This is what you should do as your good sister. Sisterhood. Then you are really my good sister. Mikoto said through gritted teeth. I said that you don't have to thank me. Where did you see it? I am grateful to you. Sunaid, Xiaonan and the others were sitting on the sofa, quietly watching this year's best good sisters battle. At this time, Rick Xiangchen wisely chose to retreat. If he still wanted to take advantage, he would only bring other women in, and it would be a mess at that time. So when the girls were attracted by Gashina and Mikoto, Hai Xiangchen quietly retreated. Rick Xiangchen's little apprentice and four maids saw Rick Xiangchen leave, but they didn't dare to make a sound. Hong Yui and the others were afraid of being punished, but Samuel, Yi Kang and the others didn't want to be washed with saliva anymore. As soon as he left the house, Rick Xiangchen frowned and the guy named Sheng Shu was actually looking for him. Sheng Shu took Fu Sheng Kanai, and kept entering Chakra into it, muttering, Why haven't you come yet, shouldn't you be lying to me? Because Rick Xianchen and the others live in no fixed place, it is convenient for Nawaki to find him, so Rick Xianchen gave him a flying thunder god Kanai, as long as he enters Chakra into it, Rick Xianchen will know. Wasting my time to make money. Jiao Du looked unhappy. Rick Xianchen appeared behind Sheng Shu and patted his shoulder vigorously, and Sheng Shu was instantly knocked to the ground. What's the matter with me? Rick Xianchen asked strangely. Nawaki lay on the ground, clutching his shoulders, unable to speak in pain. After a long time, Sheng Shu stood up and said angrily, Why are you working so hard? It's killing me. Jiao Du's pupils shrank, and fear flashed in his eyes. Of course, Jiao Du knew Rick Xianchen. But the underground black markets offered a reward to Rick Xianchen's name. And it is also the highest reward, higher than the sum of the shadows of the major villages. But Zhao Duo never thought of picking it up. Although he loves money, he also knows that he can make money only if he has his life. Rick Xianchen glanced at Jiao Du, and then looked at Nawaki, but this glance made Jiao Du's soul tremble, his body tense, and he was ready to escape at any time. Tell me, what's the matter with me? Anyway. It's never good for you to look for me. Rick Xianchen looked at Nawaki angrily. He he Sheng Shu scratched his head, smiled, and said, I invited you to join the Xiao organization. Invite me again? If you don't join, where will you go? Rick Xianchen waved his hand. He had nothing to do with the Xiao organization. Why? Sheng Shu asked unwillingly. What's the benefit of me joining? Give me money? How can you be so realistic? We are fighting for peace. Rick Xianchen nodded clearly. He guessed that it must be the idiot Sheng Shu who was fooled and couldn't find b Go and fight for peace yourself. I'll say goodbye first. Rick Xianchen didn't want to mess with the Nawaki. Why don't you let me take you to the base of the Xiao organization? What to see? To see if your secret base is dark enough. Rick Xianchen turned his head and asked. By the way, the boss of your Xiao organization still owes me 10 billion tals. I almost forgot. Let him pay back my money quickly, or I will pacify the Xiao organization. Rick Xianchen said in Nawaki's blank eyes. Rick Xianchen disappeared instantly. Pay nose Chen money? Sheng Shu scratched his head. Let's go. A big man like him won't take a fancy to a small organization like us. I don't know who the leader is stronger than him. Jiao Du said silently. In fact, in Jiao Du's heart, he still prefers Rick Xianchen to be stronger, because when he faces Rick Xianchen, there is a trembling from his soul. This feeling was not felt by pain. The mysterious leader of the Akatsuki organization. Let's go. I heard that the leader wants to recruit a new person to join the Xiao organization. This new person is still related to you, your former teacher, Okaimaru. Jiao Du was wearing a black Xiuyan robe and a hat with wind chimes as he walked into the distance. Go. Sheng Shu shook his head and followed. If Rick Xianchen did not join the Xiao organization, he had no choice. Chapter 290 Okaimaru enters the dawn. After Nawaki and Jiao both walked away, Rick Xianchen walked out silently. But he didn't leave just now. Okaimaru has defected. Rick Xianchen whispered to himself. A funny smile suddenly appeared on his face. I really don't know what will happen to Okaimaru when he sees Nagato's samsara eye. Before, Rick Xianchen had told Okaimaru that samsara's eye evolved from the writing wheel. Why don't you follow along and have a look? To subdue Okaimaru, it's definitely not just Pain who will go, but other people in Xiao's organization are expected to go too. It's okay for Rick Xianchen to be idle, and it's okay to follow up to take a look. So Rick Xianchen quietly followed behind Jiao Du and Sheng Shu. Xiao's organization is a team of two, and Jiao Du and Rope Shu are a team. As for Fei Juan, it is estimated that he is still a child. You should know that I don't like to wait for others. The scorpion of Liu who was hiding said lightly, with anger in his voice. I'm really sorry. Sheng Shu scratched his head and said, with his simple and honest face, a little silly. Now the Red Sand Scorpion and Hinata Hamura are temporarily in a group. Okay, stop talking nonsense. Tan Dao Pain, the leader said. Although Nagato didn't break his leg, he still chose to hide behind the scenes and the made Yahiko's body into a heavenly pain. He wanted Yahiko to see peace with his own eyes. Absolutely, 
did you find out? Will Okimaru pass here? Pain asked lightly, with some dissatisfaction in his voice. It's true that I will pass by here. My clone is watching him. He can't run away. Bayad said quickly. Hai never accosted, in general. He would never speak. Then wait. Chisha's scorpion was dissatisfied. What he hated the most was waiting. He decided in his heart that he must make Okimaru look good. He was not afraid of one of the three tolerances. He dared to kill even the three generations of Fenning, let alone Okimaru. Okimaru walked quietly, unaware that there was a group of people waiting for him in front of him. Just a few days ago, his secret research institute was leaked. At that time, Okimaru was doing research in it and was blocked. When he saw his teacher Saruto Bihazin, Okimaru knew that someone betrayed him. Otherwise his secret research institute would never be exposed. And the person who betrayed him, according to Okaimaru's guess, is likely to be Dunzo, because only Dunzo who cooperated with him can clearly know his secret base. Okaimaru didn't want to know why and Zhang betrayed him. He hurriedly collected most of the research materials, and Okaimaru shot him without hesitation. He knew that with these things in his laboratory, his teacher would not let him go. At this time, the three generations of Hokage are not so old and their strength is very strong. Okaimaru is not an opponent at all. In the end, it is the three generations of Hokage who remember their old feelings and keep their hands on him before he can escape. Then Okaimaru got rid of Jiria who wanted to bring him back to Konoha, and now he is also exhausted. Walking and walking, Okaimaru suddenly realized that something was wrong, and his body stopped immediately. The snake's perception of danger is very strong. Being able to discover us, it seems that you are indeed qualified to join the Xiao organization. Pain walked out and looked at Okaimaru lightly. Okaimaru frowned, looking at Pain's Samsara eyes, couldn't help but widen his eyes. Isn't this Samsara eye? Okaimaru stared at Pain with fiery eyes, and the coveting on his face was undisguised. Pain frowned. Of course, he knew Okaimaru Pain, his teacher Jiria's teammate. Hiss I'll accept your reincarnation I. Okaimaru shot Pain without hesitation, and two large snakes entangled toward Pain. Rixianchen is sitting on a big tree not far away. And tomorrow Xianchen is not hiding, even in a very conspicuous place. But no one can find him. Okaimaru shot when he came up, really impatient. Xianchen held a branch in his mouth and looked at the scene below. I don't know whether to live or die, but dare to take action against God. Pain snorted coldly, and with a huge repulsion force, he directly killed the two big snakes and sent the big snake pills flying out. Okaimaru stood up and licked the corner of his mouth, feeling even more excited in his heart. With the same ability as Xianchen. It seems that this guy's reincarnation eyes are indeed real. Join the Xiao organization, I can forgive your sins, Pain said flatly. I have to say that this kid Nagato is a bit of a middle schooler. It is estimated that the middle school disease has occurred, and Rixi Angjin, who is watching, wants to complain. Are you from the Uakaiha family? Okaimaru asked. Pain frowned. He didn't understand why he asked that. He glanced at Okaimaru lightly, and Pain said, I am a god. Okaimaru's mouth twitched. Teacher Okaimaru. Long time no see. Sheng Shi walked out and greeted Okaimaru lightly. Afterwards, Kakuto, Scorpion, and Hinata Yumura all came out and surrounded Okaimaru. Okaimaru raised his brows. He could sense that all these guys were not weak, especially the old man with a pair of white A's. His aura was like an abyss. He couldn't peep at all. His intuition told him that the strongest person here was not the person who had the eye of reincarnation and claimed to be a god, but the old man with white eyes. Xiao organization. It seems to be quite interesting. It's okay to join it. A smile appeared on the corner of Okaimaru's mouth. He still knows that the hero does not suffer from the immediate loss. Facing this group of people, Okaimaru feels that even escaping is a luxury. It is better to join it and save his life first. What's more, Okaimaru is still thinking about planning the reincarnation. I, Pain took out a ring with blank characters and threw it at him. From today, you are Xiao Zikong Chen. If you dare to betray Xiao, there will be no place for you in the entire ninja world, Pain warned. Okaimaru smiled lightly, and then casually put the ring on. He joined Akatsuki to plan the reincarnation I, but he didn't really work for Akatsuki's organization. Konoa Sen in Okaimaru, what I don't like the most is waiting for someone. Do you know how long you made me wait? The Chisha Scorpion's voice full of coldness sounded. Similarly, I don't like being questioned by others. Okaimaru's eyes flashed coldly. He was not a kind person. Moreover, Okaimaru also has his own pride. An unknown person dared to speak to him like this, and killing intent rose in Okaimaru's heart. Flew who ate waves of needles. Scorpion controlled Flew who to spit out poisonous needles, and the high density poisonous needles flew towards Okaimaru. Every S class betrayal is unruly and will kill if they disagree. In the face of the scorpion's attack, Okaimaru channeled out a large snake, blocking all the poisonous needles, and this huge snake lost the slightest vitality for a moment and was poisoned to death. Shulka snake hands. Countless snakes were summoned by Okaimaru, and they bit and wrapped around the scorpion, trying to drown the scorpion among the snakes. Although the scorpion can kill these snakes quickly, Okaimaru has summoned too many snakes, and they continue to summon them continuously. However, 
After a short while, the scorpion fell into a disadvantageous position, and even the flea where he was hiding was slightly damaged. Okaimaru's strength is not weak if he really fights, unless he takes out his trump card. The three generations of Kazkage, he is really not Okaimaru's opponent. Even if he took out Sandai Kazkage, his most proud puppet, he might not be Okaimaru's opponent. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, where you can find advanced audiobooks that hasn't been uploaded on YouTube till now. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.